Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. Let me just fix the camera, or did I make it worse? Anyway, this is going to be for the week of the 8th, going to the 14th of May, so I'm going to jump straight into it, you guys. Air signs won the, well, they were second place in the poll, so uh, you guys are going next, so I'm going to jump straight in and see what's going on for you guys, okay? I'm just going to apologize, I'm completely fine for anyone who is asking if I don't look okay or my energy is different. I'm just in the middle of something, but yeah, today I might feel seem a little bit off, but I'm completely fine. Just to make you guys aware, cause some of you do get worried, which is um, very sweet of you, but I'm fine. All right, let's see for Gemini, please. For Gemini. I just had a message. Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant, by the way, if, if that's the case, or you already have, then congratulations. I am picking up on boy energy, but it is what it is. It's just for some of you. Alrighty. For Gemini, please, this week. Okay. Divine timing is really at play in your life here, Gemini. Specifically on something that you have been longing for. We have the moon here. And as you can see, she's in this very, like, nos not nostalgic, um, but she's in this very emotional place where she's longing for something, you know, really going through her thoughts and emotions. So a lot of you guys, I am getting this very deep analysis coming through for you because you actually also have the hermit card coming up here. So Gemini, you're in this place where you might be feeling a little bit frustrated in maybe the timing of things because that is an element coming through. The Hermit Virgo energy came out with the Seven of Pentacles. So you're feeling a little bit like you're losing a little bit of hope on something that you're working towards or on just your life in general and maybe how it's looking right now. All right. Because Seven of Pentacles is putting a lot of work into something. You're really feeling like you've, you know, you've been doing a lot. And you have. Seven of Pentacles does say that you've done a lot. Um, but maybe, you know, you're feeling like, is it worth the wait? Is it worth all this effort? Is it worth doing all these things? Have I wasted my time? There's a lot of questions that come through with the Seven of Pentacles. Because moral of the story is, Gemini, you guys are really tired. And as much as the Ten of Wands is not here, which is normally the card of burnout... You guys are feeling a little bit tired, like you can't really push f f anymore for whatever it is that you guys are waiting for. So this is an emotional challenge that you guys are going to be overcoming because the hermit does have that little glimpse of hope. And what I am seeing here is the center of your reading, you have the three of uh, wands, which is a, a card of waiting, anticipating, all right, for the return of something or for something to that you've put out into the universe to come back. It could be manifestation, could just be because you're doing the work. That's the energy you're putting out. You're just waiting for your rewards. And you do have the Wheel of Fortune coming through as well, which is a card of divine timing. It's an amazing card though. It's a Wheel of Fortune. It's an amazing card for blessings because it is a card ruled by Jupiter, okay, which is all about expanding your life, all about granting you blessings, okay, but this is something that you've been really, really waiting for, so, um, and you don't really know exactly if it's happening uh, because the Seven of Pentacles, you are working towards it, so I'm going to say it is. But to you, you're not really seeing much of the rewards or results, okay, for those who I'm speaking to. So I'm going to pull a few more cards. I'm actually going to clarify the oracle so we can speak about it. Actually, let me just clarify this Three of Wands and Wheel of Fortune then, please. Four of Swords. Yeah, so currently it feels like you're in this period of where you're having to rest and um, wait and heal. Okay, so the results might not be coming in just yet, but they are coming in. The Four of Swords is saying that in order to have something, we must do the inner work for it. And the Four of Swords is maybe you need to take a vacation. Maybe you need to take a break. And maybe that's what you're really kind of waiting for. Four of Swords is also um, to do with your health as well. So make sure you are like looking after that. Okay. Sometimes the Four of Swords is like a mental vacation. Okay, interesting. So um, I am getting an element of why your relationships with people are going to start to change. So for those who are single, I am seeing you going into a relationship or something that is slowly moving towards that. Maybe not a relationship just yet, but something that's growing. Um, for those of you who are in relationships, there is still some sort of change happening to the relationship or something that you are both experiencing. Um how can I, uh, if this is a relationship, I'm seeing some 
happiness coming through. We do have wish fulfillment, but it is requiring change and maybe movement. Maybe you guys are moving um, or learning about something here. I'm going to speak about it. So the first card you have in the Oracle deck is Soulmate. So this is something that's going to be present for you guys within this week here, Gemini. Just to mention that there is like a... Whenever this blue ribbon comes up, it's something that I channeled a very long time ago through some sort of meditation and it was very profound. One day, maybe I'll share my stories, but it's a bit wild. Um, so blue ribbon means to me protection. It's about protecting. So the fact that this is around um, these two penguins, these soulmates, it says that your soulmate connections are protected at this time. So if you are in a relationship or you are dating somebody, then this is a very protected um, connection okay this is something that the universe clearly is very supporting of okay uh, but we have the nine of cups coming through to clarify the soulmates all right so this is about wish fulfillment usually the nine of cups though is kind of personal satisfaction so there is a personal wish fulfillment coming through for you guys here gemini in terms of a relationship that could mean you're getting the person that you would like uh, a relationship and this could be what the death card is here is transforming is changing and this is a wish fulfillment for you you the knight of pentacles as well so whatever this is there is movement coming in and maybe that's what the wish fulfillment is in terms of a relationship knight of pentacles could be again you could be moving with a partner moving in with a partner it could just be that the relationship is slowly but surely you know moving forward because knight of pentacles is planting those seeds it's not exactly the end goal but it's a journey that's happening in terms of a relationship and this is what is changing okay there's a lot to learn so make sure we're open to learning as we go along this journey gemini because a death card is a card of releasing something so we have to let go of an old way of being or an old story an old chapter to embrace this new energy okay so it does it's a wish fulfillment energy so this is really good um can i just see a little bit more if this is a relationship please we have the Queen of Cups, okay, this could be a water sign, that, that is um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, this is either you or the other person is someone who's very in touch with their emotions, someone who could be quite like an empath, someone who's very, you know, intuitive, and again, I could be describing you, Gemini, clarify, please, Ten of Swords coming through, then we have Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles, so Ten of Swords is usually an ending, especially with the death card here. Maybe someone is grieving a loss, okay, in terms of a relationship here. Okay, or again, there is a difficult part. But can I, I'm going to just clarify this Ten of Swords because... Did you see that? <laughs> when I breathed in, my half like was breathed into my mouth. We have the Ace of Pentacles and a Judgment card coming through. So the Judgment is about rising up into this new chapter and the Ace of Pentacles is here. So if you have it in a relationship that is, you know, there is a lot of love there, the wish fulfillment, this self-satisfaction could be moving to this higher level of understanding, something much more stable. So it's an end of a difficult period because the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So, I mean, this could be someone that you've ended it with and now you're being granted a new beginning. That could be your wish fulfillment. All right. Eight of Pentacles. It's a working on something here. So you could be just working on yourself now if you have ended a connection with somebody here. Or if you are transforming a connection, then you're working on yourself and paying more attention to your work in general. Okay. Like your career life and on yourself or putting work into the relationship. In which case, with the Eight of Pentacles, you are going to see the result coming back here. So that's very lovely. I'm just going to put these back to clear the board. All right, we'll leave the Nine of Cups on the Soulmates. Let's go to the second Oracle card, which is not All That Glitters. So All That Glitters card is really removing the mask. It's understanding that not everything on the surface is what it looks like. And that could be for better or for worse. Sometimes what looks amazing on the surface is actually not that very good underneath. But it can also be what doesn't look good on the top is actually really, really amazing deep down. But this is about unmasking something. It is about finding the truth. It's about digging deeper. If that is in terms of relationship, again, that could be what's happening in a relationship is we're being very open and honest about what we might be struggling with, what might be blocking the connection. Or it could just be you found something out about somebody and this is what is creating that shift and change in a dynamic. So I'm kind of picking up two stories. I can't be quite sure. Yeah, I'm going to put my leg up. Please don't sexualize me. I've been having a lot of weird comments in the in the thing so 
I want to just be a human being, please. <laughs> um, so let me clarify the All That Glitters card. YouTube can be a very strange place. You have really incredible cards. One thing, King of Pentacles came up and flipped up reverse on top of this soulmate, okay? So if a relationship or your soulmate life, your love life has been very unstable, you just haven't had this person to fulfill that place here, Gemini. The King of Pentacles, maybe you have been struggling financially. Or someone who looked like they had it all, you're discovering they don't. I'm kind of getting a sense here. This doesn't seem bad. So this doesn't look like you're really unveiling something within this week, Gemini, that's going to really, you know, harm you or like affect you in a negative way. It kind of feels like it's bringing strength into your life and actually probably is giving you the strength to take a leap of faith moving forward. So it seems like it's something to do with your friendships and your soulmates. Soulmates can be friendships, could be, you know, connecting on a deeper level with your family, with your friends, with your love interests, okay, with somebody. The four card and the strength, it kind of feels like this is what's being uncovered. Something is being unmasked. Maybe someone's being very open and a lot more vulnerable. Maybe about something that they, you know, are going through. King of Pentacles, usually in the upright, is someone who is very stable, very strong, very self-assured. All right, very financially well off because of the decisions that they've made. And in reverse, it kind of brings the opposite of that. So someone who is very unstable, someone who doesn't feel very secure, someone who doesn't feel very confident about their decisions and uh, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And that could be you. All right, so something is coming through. Maybe you're having a very open conversation. It does seem to be the case here within this week that's allowing you to take a leap of faith. Or even if it's just something you're doing internally. Is you really unmasking? And this is what's leading you and giving you the strength to take this big leap of faith. And the full card is a new journey. So again, some of you could be traveling or you could just be starting something new. You're just getting ready for something. The fall can just be, you know, a mindset of really kind of what do I have to lose? I'm just going to do what I want to do. And you're doing it with strength and with courage. Because it takes a lot of strength to do what you love. Especially when it means you have to let go of something. That provides security. And maybe that's why the king of pentacles is in reverse. Some of you could be, you know, really kind of getting rid or letting go of something that looks like a stable and you're actually gaining the courage to take a complete leap of faith down a very untraditional journey here, Gemini, okay? It's very interesting. The next oracle card that you have is peace. And this is a card of forgiveness. This is a card of letting something be. Um, as you can see, there is an egg coming through. So yeah, we do have penguins and an egg now. So some of you, yes, this could be, you know, having children if that's something that you would like to do. Um, this peace card Yes, about forgiveness is about letting go of those negative emotions so that you can find peace. Um, I always breathe in my hair when I breathe in. Jeez. <laughs> TMI. The egg represents a new beginning. The egg represents, you know, kind of bringing something to life. But this egg is not hatched in this cause. So it's something that is yet to come. But the peace is really this energy of letting it go and letting it be instead of watching it every single day. When is this going to hatch? When am I, you know, I've been keeping it warm for this whole time aka putting the hard work into it to nurture something to life um when is it going to come well the piece is like when you let go of the timing of something and let it be um it will just do its own thing and you won't be so worried about it and time does fly when you're not paying attention to it all right anything else please for gemini interesting so we kind of have this energy, Gemini, where... Can I just clarify that, please? Okay, well, this is very good. You do have this element of some sort of heart or pain. There is heartache around you at this time, which you may be already feeling. But this, there is good news around this here. Because we have this Ace of Wands. So you might be having to let go of something that you thought you wanted to embrace something that you actually really need and deserve which might be even better than what you had to let go of. So this three of swords is almost being, like the universe sees your suffering, the universe sees how difficult things have been for you and how difficult it is to maybe let go of something or to, you know, change things. Like it's healing your heartache, whatever this ace of wands is. So there is movement. There could be travel. There could be a new passionate project or beginning coming through for you that's worth taking. 
because the, the um, Three of Swords is actually also being clarified by that Ace of Pentacles and that Four of Wands. So that's a community. That's a coming together. Usually the um, Four of Wands is actually like an engagement card. It's two people coming together. So this could be, you know, um, collaboration with somebody. If it's to do with love, then it could be that. All right, so Ace of Pentacles is a very solid beginning. This could be a promotion. This could be moving. It could be a new house, as you can see here. I don't know if I should do this. All right, but either way, it's something worth celebrating. And by the way, Four of Wands is also an 11-11 card, okay, as you can see. So a success. So this heartache that you're feeling is going to be resolved by this new beginning. You have two Aces. How did I take so long to realize that? Which is incredible. You're being given a chance to new beginnings. This could very heavily be to do around your career life, by the way, because Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles can both be that, okay? Something that you're passionate about and something that can reward you later down the line, okay? Let's get you some random messages for you. Sometimes we might need to take a, like, a bit of a break to really understand deeper, you know, why we're feeling a certain way. Um, so that we can actually address whether we're aligned to the new feeling that we want to feel. So if it's happiness, okay, well, are the things around you making that possible? Because <laughs> if it's not, we might need to change things up a little bit. All right. For Gemini, please. Interesting. Yeah, some of you, this is really to do with relationships, by the way. And this is somebody who is a very, you know, very, very goal orientated or you're becoming this kind of person here because we do have finger here, which says warning you of a problem either now or in the future. This card tends to come up not just when it's problems because there are really good cards surrounding it, but it is just warning you of something that's going to happen or, or letting you know something is going to happen. Um, and it came out with goal orientated person. And then the two cards that came following that is romance is in the air and compliments from an admirer. So uh, expect a goal-orientated person to come through, give you a compliment. Okay, there is. Um, or maybe this is, again, a, an already established connection where, you know, things are becoming more goal-orientated. Maybe you're communicating your goals and wishes to each other. And underneath that, on the bottom of the deck here is nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Uh, so this could be someone that you can start a family with. And I was picking up a pregnancy, like, in the beginning of the reading. Yeah, and now we have fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. I'm feeling love. And we have butterfly, a change for the better. So all these emotions are positive changes. The butterfly also represents the fact that you are growing and evolving and gaining these wings. Okay, so that's always really nice. Anything for Geminis? We have embraced it in between with the flamingo spirit, uh, which is saying that, you know, you're currently in the middle of your life being better and from what you've just come from. And this, in, this actually, the flamingo does show up and this similar message does show up in another deck. So it's this energy of you are moving away from all that negativity and that pain that you've been experiencing and going through and you're moving into the amazing, incredible new things and blessings and the peace that you finally, uh, you know, are wanting. But you are in that in-between stage. So it's almost like understanding and embracing that things are getting better for you, but you are still having to get rid of and purge and remove um, the old. So it's like embrace the fact that you are moving forward, all right? Um, and understand and accept when these negative emotions or feelings or pain comes through that it's normal. You're in the in-between stages. So give yourself grace and embrace it. All right, things are moving forward for you. All right, T Gemini, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Please be nice in the comments. I've been seeing a lot more like hate coming through or just really negative stuff. And I don't really like that on my channel. So I am going to delete anything that is negative i'm not standing for it i feel like i need to say that and i know the amazing ones uh, who watch my channel are not going to be the ones doing that but some people have and i feel the need to say it so think before you speak think before you type is it positive do you are you what's your intention <laughs> what's your intention really think about that does it make you feel better to say these things to me anyway i love you guys i really do wish you all the best um i send you my love and i hope to see you guys next time